What's up, Spencer here with Handlebar Labs. Uh, today I quickly wanted to go over the basics of the image component in React Native. Uh, image component is how you actually go about displaying images. And there's two different ways that you can actually display an image. And that's a remote image and a local image. We'll start with the local and then move on to the remote image. Uh, but basically what you'll do is import the image component from React Native as I've done here, and then you can render it. And the prop that you're going to need to specify is source. Uh, easiest way with a local image is then to actually specify the path. So via require, you can specify the path to the image that you want to display. So mine's going to be an assets rn school logo dot png. And you're going to want to make sure you add that dot png. Uh, you know, if you're importing a JS file, maybe you don't have to add that extension, but you do have to add it for uh, an image. And when I save this, you can see it's actually displaying the image and that's all that we need to do to actually display a local image. And what's going to happen is it's going to uh, basically render at whatever size the image is actually set at. So here we've got a 250 by 250 image. We could actually go ahead and specify a style prop just like we would for a uh, view or something. And we can go ahead and change the width. We can set that to 150 and the height to 150 as well. And you can see it'll go ahead and change that. Now something else that's cool about React Native and the image component, if we actually go and look at the images that I have over here, you can see I've got this rnschoollogo.png um, at three different pixel densities. We've got it at uh, just default at 2x at 3x. And basically following this convention, React Native is going to go ahead and use the correct uh, image for the pixel density of the device you're on. And that way the images always look crisp for your user. Now let's say we want to do a uh, remote image instead. So I'll go ahead and delete that. Again, we're going to need to pass that source prop. This time, instead of using require to actually pass it, we're going to have to pass an object to it. And in this object, you're going to want to pass a URI. And then this URI is just going to be a path to a remote image. So I, I've gone ahead and pasted an image in here and I've saved it, but you can see nothing actually shows up. And one caveat with remote images is you actually need to specify the actual dimensions of that image. So just to follow the previous example, we can set the width to 250 and the height uh, to 250 as well. And then once we do that, we can display it. Now an issue here, and this goes for both remote and local images, is this rectangular image is being displayed as a square. And that's because we set the width and the height uh, as equal values. And if you want to maintain the aspect ratio, you can actually go ahead and use a prop called resize mode. And there's going to be different options here. You can see we've got center, contain, cover, repeat, and stretch. Uh, basically, contain, so the two I use, well, really the only one I use here is contain. And basically, if you use contain, save this, um, you can see it's going to contain the values within this area that you've specified. So I've specified this image should take up 250 by 250, and the pictures wider than it is taller. So it's only going to expand to 250 wide and then it'll go ahead and change it uh, vertically so it maintains the aspect ratio. And with that, that's the basics of the React Native image component. You can do so much more with it. You can actually go ahead and check uh, when the image is loading, when it started, when it stopped, do different things with that. You can use different resize modes, uh, all kinds of different stuff. But what we've just covered here, the style, the source, and the resize mode, it's going to get you a long way uh, using the image com component in React Native.